Have you ever thought about what a better life would look like for you? Meaning, what are some of the things that you desire for your life? And we're not talking about money here. If money wasn't an uh, an issue, what would you be doing? The truth of the matter is money isn't an issue. What type of life would you be living? Where would you go? What are some of the places that you would eat at? What are some of the clothes and stores that you would shop at? What type of friendships would you have? How would your family dynamics be? It's possible. It's possible for you to have those things, be that thing, and do that thing. Peace, family. Peace, peace, peace. I hope you guys are having a phenomenal day. If not, do understand and get your day is going to get better once your perception gets better. My name is Dina Bryant. I do these inspirational videos just so we can shift our energy, change our mindset, and manifest the things that we truly, truly desire. So today's video is about how to live a better life, okay? Now... A few months ago, and this will work with anyone that is experiencing um, depression or anxiety, just disclaimer, I'm not a doctor, okay, Um, but I did experience depression and anxiety, okay, and so this video, it can help, I know it helped me, and I'm just speaking from my experience, Um, but I know that if you apply some of the steps, okay, um, it can change your life because it sure as hell changed mine. So first off, a few months ago, okay, um, I would still be making content, you know, like this, um, inspirational videos, but one of the things that I noticed was, Um, you know, although I was making the videos, I would feel like I had a limit, you know, subconsciously in my mind, right. On, um, how far I can go or what I can do, um, for my content, um, just for my life in, in general. Okay. Sometimes in life, you know, we experience certain things to, So it could pull us in a direction that we say that we desire to go in, right? So for instance, you know, you may be going through um, experiencing anxiety and not realizing that that anxiety is actually helping you. And, And what do I mean by that, right? Because, you know, if somebody would have said that to me, years ago when I first started experiencing, um, anxiety. And I like to say like, you know, all of us, um, experience anxiety. So, so one, don't think that you are, um, an exception to the rule. Okay. Don't think that you're crazy or anything like that. Okay. Um, but anxiety is pretty much is stress. Okay. Is, is stress. It is fear. Um, oftentimes you may experience it because you don't speak up for yourself. Um, you know, it could be a number of, a number of reasons why. Okay. But what I noticed in my life, um, I kept paying attention to things that I did not want to keep showing up in my life. Right. And I never forget one night. Um, you know, I was feeling sad, okay? And I had been making videos, content videos and everything like that. But one of the things that I'm going to say is the power of awareness will change your life like night and day. It will change your life drastically. And I remember one night um, I was in my bedroom And I done been making content and everything. 
And I just felt like the process, it wasn't going as quickly as I wanted it to go. And I got this download. For me, this gut feeling is hunch, right? For me to pick up this book from my closet, get this book and start reading it, okay? The Mystic Path to Cosmic Power by Vernon Howard. And I started reading it. And one of the things that um, I highly, highly suggest you guys to do is one, okay, and I, I did not know this at the time, okay, it's so funny how you can listen to, um, you know, personal development, you can read the books and still miss the message. Let me say that again. It's so funny how you can read the personal development, the self-help books, and listen to the personal development and still miss the message. And the reason being is because as we grow, okay, we hear something that from the personal development that we didn't hear before, or we may see something in the book that we didn't see before, that is because we have grown. And so, you know, I've been listening to um, Bob Proctor. Bob Proctor is, you know, one of the go-to people that I listen to every single day, okay? And funny story, I'm, let me just throw this in here. I remember when I was doing Uber, I want to say about three years ago, and I remember I had meditated and in my meditation sessions or before my meditation sessions, I may ask a question and I say, what could I do to improve my life? And the download that I received was listen to Abraham Hicks and Bob Proctor and I don't know if you guys are familiar. Leave a one in the chat if you're familiar with Bob Proctor and Abraham Hicks' work, okay? Um, pretty much talk about, they both talk about the same exact thing. Um, you know, the universe, energy, you know, we become what we think about. Focus on what we want as opposed to what we don't want. Stay in a high vibration, you know, and so, you know, I got the download and I listened to, you know, Bob Proctor and Abraham Hicks, but it would be days where as though I'd be like, all right, you know, I don't want to, you know, do it today. And I did not know at the time. Okay. And this is from me just studying, um, Bob Proctor's material and, and studying myself. I did not know at the time, it would be times where as though I didn't want to listen to it because it would cost in me my comfort. It was costing me to grow. It was costing me to get out my comfort zone. And so I made that discovery because it's certain things that I have done. Like a few weeks ago, I went to this, you know, this rock and roll thing, you know, uh, like a, a block party, so to speak, um, where I live. And I was, I was a little afraid to go there. Okay. I had like all these thoughts in my mind, you know, you're the only, you're going to be the only, you know, black person there. Okay. It's going to be predominantly all white people. Um, you know, you ain't got nothing in common, like just... And let me tell you something. That conversation that you tend to hear, that chatter, the monkey in the mind that's telling you all these different things, telling you you're not good enough, telling you you don't belong, those are lies. You see, those are lies that we had heard from society Lies that we may have heard from our parents. Lies that we may have heard from the school system. Those are all lies. 
And you do not have to accept those lies any longer. And so what happened to me was I never for forgot. Um, I remember I was doing a video and this, this was a few months um, back. I was doing a video and I was talking about success. And, um, you know, the difference between the rich and the poor. And I remember it was a guy on my TikTok who said, made a comment and he said, you talking all it is, but you laying in a bag. And at first, you know, I took it personal. I was like, yeah, I'm laying in a bed. And, you know, I'll lay in a bed because, you know, I like doing a concert in a bed sometimes. You know, who got to get up and all these different things. But what I didn't realize is it was part of my paradigm. It was part of the programming. You see, when I was a kid, And this person pretty much raised me. And they had, you know, um, they they would work probably about an hour, two hours away from, you know, the house. And when they was working, I was living with my grandmother. And so when they stopped working, um pretty much like I I was when they was working I was kind of still staying with them I take that I was kind of still staying with them um but then later on they stopped working and I would just see them majority of the time in a room you know in the bed and from the ages of you know I guess up into five years old, they say pretty much um, our paradigm, the habits, you know, the subconscious mind is pretty much um, like programmed by that time already. Okay, five to seven, you know, probably up to seven, seven, eight. Um, and so that's what I see. And so majority of the time, I remember even when my youngest daughter, I mean, my oldest daughter, she was in school. And um, one day I had went to, you know, my oldest children's open house for report cards to see how they was doing in school. And um, one of the teachers, I was like really, really cool with her. And I remember um, we were talking about, you know, my daughter performance and everything like that. And the teacher had said to me, she said, um, you know, your daughter, she, my daughter name is Jada. She said, your daughter, you know, Jada always say, like, you know, when she come from school, like you pretty much is always in a bag, right? And at that time I was working at um, a hardware store, okay, Home Depot. And um, my hours were from four o'clock up until one from four in the morning to one so by the time my children came home from school you know I would be laying down in the bed and I never really made the correlation right like I you know I just was like she was like the teacher said to my daughter she said this is what she told me she asked my daughter is mommy sick and my daughter was like no you know um but I never made the correlation of why I would lay in the bed, okay, practically throughout the day. Now, one of the things to start changing your life, what I started doing, okay, I started writing down exactly where I currently was, okay? And this was literally a few months ago. I started writing down where I was and writing all the stuff down, you know, the amount of money, you know, I, I make or have or whatever it is. Um, and 
I started, you know, writing all this stuff down, um, how my day is throughout the day and everything. Because in order for you to change your life, you have to know exactly where you are, okay? You you cannot change your life if you don't know where you currently are or if you don't want to face where you are. Because sometimes it can seem so devastating where you are that you don't even want to face, face it, okay? And so I wrote all the, you know, things that I did not like. And what I did after that, I burned the paper. Okay, pretty much letting go of that energy. Next, I created what I wanted for my life. All right. I started focusing on my goals. I started writing my goals down each and every day. I started visualizing three times a day. I started reading the books. Okay, and... One of the books, you guys may have seen me, you know, show this book a few times. This book, okay, it had a major part to do with my self-image, how I started changing the way I viewed myself, okay? Because the problem is you have this faulty self-image, this wrong self-image, this self-image that you think you can't do whatever it is you desire to do. You believe that you wasn't created to have a happy, fulfilling, blissful life. That is a faulty self-image. It is not real, okay? And you may say, well, I don't want to lie to myself, but my love, love bug, okay? You're lying to yourself each and every day. Each and every day, you are lying to yourself. And what I mean by that is this. You was created with so much potential, okay? Abundance is your birthright. But yet and still, you are showing up like you are an accident. You are not an accident. You are so much purposeful, okay? And I know somebody, you know, so much purposeful, that don't even... You are so much purposeful, okay? And you have so much purpose within you, okay? So those were some of the things that I have done. Um, also, I study. Now, you guys will hear me say this in every video like this that I do, every live like this that I do, you will hear me say I study. And this is some of the personal development um, programs that I study right here. Bob Proctor's Paradigm Shift, okay? Once I started studying, okay, and studying every day, because this is not like a one-time quick fix. We have to understand that we've been programmed, you know, from when we was in a womb up until we was seven and, and still being programmed, okay? But the difference now is you have the choice on if you are going to let someone else program you. And what I mean by someone else, I'm talking about the television, the radio, social media, whatever. Or are you going to program yourself? And that's the importance of this. Like, you need to understand it, okay? Because we have two parts to us. It's the subconscious and the conscious. The conscious is when we was, you know, little babies, okay? And we was just accepting. Everything that we seen, everything that we heard, all the repetition, you know, surrounding money, okay? You got to work so hard in order for you to become, you know, have some money, you know, money don't grow, like all these different things. It was going into our, in our conscious mind, okay? The conscious, it does, it can accept or reject our conscious mind. Now, once we start accepting those things as, you know, toddlers, okay, it's, went automatically in a subconscious mind 
And that is where you have your program. That is where you have your habits. That is where you do the same thing each and every day. Your routine. Your routine is keeping you from success. If you don't like the way your life is going, change your routine. I guarantee your life will change. And so what I started doing was I started going out more. I started understanding there's no limit, but just the limit that you place on yourself, you know. So I started going out more. I started understanding that you do not have to have these things or certain things in order for you to be successful. You could work your way towards success. And to me, success is Doing anything that you absolutely positively love to do. And so what I started, also what I started doing, I started going to, you know, this, I remember this one neighborhood, okay, that is, is, um, a wealthy neighborhood. I started going here and it was like night and day, you know? From me being in the bed to me now going to um, a neighborhood that I say, you know what, I'm a Lydia one day. And at first feeling a little discomfort, but the more I kept showing up for myself, the more I kept going in, you know, the more I start feeling comfortable. And then it's on to something different. I really wanted to share this video because you have the ability to change your life. But you have to show up and you have to be willing to do something different in order for your life to change. And you have to be willing to think different. See, we, we've been programmed to think a certain type of way. To allow the outside to dictate where we are going by our senses, what we see, taste, touch, feel, smell. And from that, we tend to get what we get. And so what I needed to start realizing was, okay, you know, you allowing this to dictate where you going you paying attention to, you know, things outside your existence. How about you go within? And that's another thing. Because everything that shows up on the outside is just a reflection on what we got on the inside going on with ourselves. And the more I start studying, the more I start becoming self-aware. Oh, you focusing on it. That's why that's going to show up. Focus on this. And I start enjoying my life, like, so much so, like, even yesterday, you know, um, so a lot of you guys, you, you may know, right? Like, I do um, shopping videos, okay? And um, even then, I remember when I first started going to the stores, I was, like, a little nervous. But the more I kept on doing it. And the more I kept on reprogramming my subconscious mind and changing my thinking and having understanding. And the only way you're going to have understanding is by studying. Is by studying. You guys hear me say get the books? Like, and, and I tell you guys to get the books and stuff like that, that I'm reading the books that like really had a... Uh, major play the major factor in my life far as me changing i tell you to get the books because i am so here for your breakthrough like i i really want you to go through life enjoying it like i really want you to wake up feeling excited about life like i really want you to you know, understand that happiness is really your birthright. Like, I really want that for you guys. And so that's why I'm always recommending books. I'm always, always letting you guys know what I have done or what I'm doing. 
Because I know if it's possible for me, it's possible for you. And so just yesterday, right? Um, it's funny. I was, I, I had went and did a few vlog, well, videos, okay? If you have not checked those videos out, okay? I went to Marshalls and I went to Five Below. Um, that's if you into, you know, shopping videos. And just yesterday I was, you know, I sent a message to my oldest son and I'm like, you know what? I'm so excited about my life. Like, this is my purpose. This is my purpose. To teach, to inspire, okay? And that can be inspiration through a video, a shopping video, an inspiration like, like you know, a personal development video. Like, and, and it feels so good. It feels so, so good. To know that we can do and be and have whatever it is that we desire. And the only thing we have to do is stick to that image. The image that we have for ourselves. Not the image that society have for us. Or what our parents have for us. The image that we have for ourselves. The thing that we want to do. The thing that is calling our hearts, our hearts of hearts. And just today, okay, just today, I had received a message for me to enter into, this is like the, the, the final um, YouTube program. So I could have ads on my videos. And I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. Because you know why? Because it all came from me reading the books, me studying, me making up in my mind that I am going to live and be this person that is successful. This person is earning a certain amount of money. This person that has a very close relationship with their children. This person that is sharing and very inspiration. That's what it came from, me making up my mind. And so you see this book, No Excuses. In here, you know, it was many days. And not only this book, I have so many, you know, journals. It was so many things I kept on writing down in my book what I wanted for my life. And now it's here. With that being said, I love you guys. It's possible for you. It's possible for one. It's possible for many. Make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe. And i catch you guys on the next one. Peace.